Welcome to the Built to Scale series, Outside Marketing, bringing you quick, actionable episodes to help move your business forward. Here's your host, Craig Severinsen. What is up, everybody? And welcome to episode 40. We're having internet issues today, which I don't get. You know, you film in the same spot every day, but this is the uh, the challenge with live video is that sometimes, sometimes things go wrong, right? You just got to go with the flow and do your best. So we're going to talk about the easiest way to retain clients. And maybe because of the internet issues, I'm going to try to go through this a little bit quicker than I normally do. But this is a super important uh, topic. We've talked, I, I've, I've said this before, and, and just as a reminder, it's like retention is the overlooked hero of business growth. Because without retention, you know, the, the analogy we hear all the time is like holes in buckets, right? Like you're filling up your bucket and if you're re- not retaining, water's going out the back or the bottom. And so it's, it's like just constantly, you're not really making any progress. The analogy I like is to walk up, is like walking the wrong way on a treadmill. Like you're going one way, the treadmill's going the other way. If you're not walking faster than that treadmill, you're either walking in place or you're even moving backwards. Even like you feel like you're moving forwards, but you're actually moving backwards, right? So retention is that unsung hero that plugs your holes or gets you moving faster than the treadmill so that you actually can make progress. And uh, here's the problem that I see with entrepreneurs all the time. And that is that we act like the giant companies. When I worked for Disney, everything was separate, right? Like it was a, it's a huge organization, international gigantic, right? I don't even know how many people. And so there were silos upon silos of teams doing very, very specific things. And this team doesn't necessarily know what this team is doing because they have their own KPIs. Maybe somewhere up the chain, somebody knows what's going on. Somebody's connecting the dots. But the people down at the bottom, they don't know what the PR team's doing, what the marketing team's doing, what the sales team is doing, what you know, and on top of that, there's like six different sales teams for one product, right? We try to think the same way lots of times when we come into a sales conversation or a client conversation where we're like, hey, we're going to stay in our lane and we're going to do this thing for you. And that's actually really important for sales, but for retention, it's a problem. And I, I'm not suggesting that you change it. What I'm suggesting is that you start communicating the ROI and start communicating the reason why you do what you do, right? So you don't, I don't, I'm not, I'm not advocating for you to like expand your services to do a whole bunch of stuff. No, stay niched and siloed, but you have got to put in the work to help connect the dots between this is what we're doing and this is why we're doing it. And let me give you an example. seems like a lifetime ago, I used to work in fundraising uh, and we had a vendor that we worked with that did direct mails for us, right? And they would come every quarter and they'd present what they did the quarter before and the plan for the next quarter. And every quarter, there was two campaigns. One was called an acquisition campaign with direct mail. You know, you're sending new letters to people you don't know, and you're trying to get new donors. And we lost money on that campaign every single time. We would lose money on that campaign every single time. And then the second campaign was just a donation campaign to people who have already proven that they were donors. That one made tons of money in donations every single time, more than enough to make up for the fee of Russ Reed. <laughs> I said their name. I wasn't going to. The name of the, or the, the fee of the uh, the direct mailing company. There's nothing wrong with saying their name. They're, they're awesome. I'll give them props. Russ Reed uh, fundraising for food banks and nonprofits, and they, they were fantastic partners. But it would more than enough pay for their fee, and it would more than enough pay for the campaign to get new donors. There, there was no question about whether we were going to continue with them or not. We could have stopped at any time. But there's no question about, yes, we're going to do the next quarter because they'd come in and say, okay, here's how much you spent. Here's how much you made. And here's the plan and projection for next time. Do you want to keep going? Yes, of course we do. Of course we do. No brainer, right? And this is what I'm trying to get for you as well is like, have yourself be so connected to the outcome and drive that outcome and track that outcome that when it comes time for your clients to pay the invoice, when it comes time for them to to renew, it's like a no brainer. It's like, yes, of course. We're going to keep going with you. Now, I know here's the resistance I get. A lot of you do public relations or you do marketing or you do something that's indirect. And you're like, Craig, I'm not a direct marketer. I can't promise X amount of money. Okay, that's fine. That's totally fine. But you have got to connect the dots for your clients because your clients are not going to connect them for you. So if you want to retain and sell 
easier, you have got to connect the dots for them. What does that mean? That means, okay, maybe you're not tracking, you made X amount of money, but you, you gotta be tracking something and you've got to show them that, that something is changing, that you're affecting something. And then you've got to help them connect why that's important to the bottom line of their business. It's so like if you're doing public relations and you're trying to, you know, increase engagement, what are you doing? You're doing a survey before, then doing your campaign and doing a survey after and having something measurable there and say, look, here, here's what we did. Public perception is different. Look, here's, here's what we did. This is, this is the effect of what we've been doing. And it's not a direct correlation, but because of this, you'll start getting this result. See, now I, we're not talking guarantees and promises. We're talking about you being aware of what is the organization's goals and helping them connect the dots between what you do and their goals. And if you are always that strategic partner that helps them reach their goals, you will not lose that client. You will not lose them. They'll be happy to stay with you because you're helping them achieve their goals. It's when it's when it's nebulous, when you're just doing something. Oh, I do social media. Oh, I do PR. Oh, I do marketing. Oh, I do strategy. And then you know, COVID hits or something hits, a pandemic hits, a, a downturn hits. And they say, who do we got to cut? Well, they're just doing social media. They're just doing PR, let's cut them first. But the conversation completely changes if they're like, well, they're helping us make money and get clients through social media, through PR. You know, the, the conversation is so small. The, the difference is so small, but it makes a huge difference in how they view you either as a strategic partner or as a provider, right? Like a, an intern level provider type thing, right? Like it makes a difference in how they view you and it makes a difference in terms of retention and how easy it is for you to retain your clients. So that's what I got for you. I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. I'm going to get out of here because the internet's being crazy and I don't want to risk another blackout here. So I'm going to get going. Uh, but let me know in the comments what you're thinking. I got, I, I took too long. I got blacked out there. The internet. Okay, guys, I'm out of here. Take some fast focus and perfect action. I believe in you. I got your back. We'll talk soon. See you. Thanks for joining us. To check out all the Built to Scale episodes and to see how Craig can help you in your business, go to builttoscalehq.com.